Wanna look at the pancakes? Oh man, I don't wanna be famous for this. We went over this. You do. Uh, what now? You know what? I'm glad that's cream. Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. You look like a boy. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she God, was I was even more ugly back then. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. What the oh, fuck no one can is even joke problem, with you, Chloe. Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I want to enter the world and I do need to get into David's Chloe computer. Right now. He's got to be hiding shit. I know she's acting or whatever, but I bet that like that's her ground zero being a bitch like that. Oh my god. I can't stand people like that. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. So do I. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. How about beer? Nothing to see here. Aww. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. <laughs> Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? <laughs> I could try the license number for the password. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Oh, it's too bad we got powers that can actually go back in time. Oh, shit, son. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Such wrong. That's not 717 wrong, but what? Whoa, 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 no. 
That seven one seven one is. F what? You know what? <laughs> Whatever. David has been dragging his head around since two thousand and one. Alice, dear hunter. Let's just search everything. For Obviously, me. David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Anything else? Hey. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. The advisor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having a din diner. All right. Nice to know, gentlemen, still just love to talk to you. By the way, my name is Joyce, if you forgot. Oh, I even might wrote be a useful smiley. password. I think it's this one. No. Oh wait, that, that was. Told you. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa! Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 234 by a position of conference. Where were David Madsen? Blah, blah, blah. The trainer is in the medical bag. Though. Illegal pharmaceuticals. All right. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KDM follow same path to class ever. That's some stalker shit right there. Looks question mark. Watch Kate's church group. Fire watch is sitting on that. Drugs? It's like a double gift for some class. <laughs> Don't trust grown men with goatees. Alright. Okay, I can, I can get along with that one. Kate has kept, uh, kept to herself since the Vortex Club party, not even church. Drugs, 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 right? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got her upset and ran. Guilty, dot. All right. You could have just put an exclamation mark right there, dude. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. And I, uh. Whoa, spoiler alert. No, that's not what I want to do. Rachel I'm definitely hooked up with it? Frank. Like, go back. But why does David care? I it, and then leave it, like, locked. There we go. Easy. Where the evidence? Hey Max, just wanted to thank you for give, giving a shit about me and my mom, but we saw how much you care about Kate and Nobel. So thanks that I care about you. are going to the party. I love your style. You're up if you want. <laughs> if I do go, I would love to get the tailor maker over and talk to you soon. Sam's now. Aw, oh, shit, son. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Ah, 
figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Why would I ever want to side with David? Like, why? Even though I hate You're Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick Whoa. together. Sexist. Well, screw well. you. Nice. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. Your home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Can we poke him and make him hit me? Thank me, Dad. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, but you have the flattest butt in game industry history. So, uh, no ragrets. No ragrets. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> oh. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Of course I do. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Is that like a pile of shit and like buttons to our costume? I can't or something believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and. Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Vaccine poppers are ever going to touch soon. I know you're not as big. I don't read about the news, actually. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind around here with Rachel. Axel. Good 
morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's go with climate change. You don't think change. it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Interesting. Can't chat now. Gotta focus on the fish. All right, if you don't mind that, I'll take the other thing instead. Good morning. Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. That's fucked. Wow. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Nosh? What the fuck? Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Nathan? <laughs> Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Then that's a camera over. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, uh, that was not the right choice, obviously. What the fuck? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. That's I was not eating what? those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not... Good combo. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. <laughs> Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. <laughs> I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. 
I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. <laughs> I better finish my breakfast first. All right. Thanks, I'm... I'm glad. Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of oh, Black wait, no, Wolf. No, no, no. And you... Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look! Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Mm. <clears throat> Let's go for the savage. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Hey. Let's remind us so you don't remember this conversation. Let's, uh, redo this conversation. Oh, wrong button. Right. Skip that one. Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. <laughs> All hands down, though. I, I like this dude. Holy shit. What do you want now? Let's go with the father thing first. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. All right. Let's make it angry. Holy shit. What do you want now? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Hmm. What's on that? What can I do for you, Max? Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Holy shit. 
I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Yup. How do you not learn? I, I don't keep quiet ever. Until the cop. Okay, I do. Nope. That's the thing I go tell uh, Mr. Frank over here. Let's go. Chloe's debt. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Mm -mm. Um, I'm actually gonna speak My work first. here is done here, Frank. Sure, but let's go back and talk about the other thing first. Buy drugs. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. All right. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Oh, like he, uh... He really, really... Rachel. You act... One, I'm not at. It's actually. Could I? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. All right. So we make him. Right? Key brought. You eat like oh, a wait. oh no no oh shit I already got the key. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I got the key. Damn it! Come on. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Yeah, boy. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. 
On your mark, get set. Throw. Hmm. I don't want to get. Let's see if it gets hit by a car. Get the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. <laughs> 